Welcome to Amuna is our future with strategies of war. That's it. It's a battle for our lives right now. In the end of days, people are feeling the heat, and it's a time for us as a people to give over a message of peace and truth and give people personally strategies how to fight their own evil inclination. As the title so beautifully puts on the YouTube, it says your good inclination is Amuna. Your evil inclination is not Amuna. That's right. So I brought my guitar today just to give a bit of energy. It's ordered by Clay Zion, one of the ways, weapons that I have. And I'm happy to introduce it here to be helpful that we should be able to together get some inspiration and not feel that we are god forbid being held back by any negativity or any lack of energy it's very important in elzman in the time that we're in this we had a beautiful class last night with rav shalom arush right here thank god this week rav arush made it because it was on time a normal class well, actually it was a little bit late but it was still on the normal 8.30 live spot, started a bit before 9, and the Rav came in, thank God, just before he's heading off to Uman, Ukraine, for Uman Rosh Hashanah, Tafshin Pei base is going to be the new year, and since we're still in Tafshin Pei Aleph, we're going to give big thanks for everybody, and big thank you, that's a big part of Rosh Hashanah, we make a lot of extra blessings with the Samanim and Samani Milsa to give thanks. That's already part of the Mohamma. How do we begin? How does a Jew begin the war with his evil inclination? And the lack of a Munna is by becoming more gratitude filled, to have more gracious attitude, an attitude of gratitude, to be more thankful. Yehudi is the same language as Hoda, to give thanks for all the good things that are going on in our life. And that is probably what a good song to start off with. To give thanks to Hashem and say, Tov Lahodis Hashem. I wasn't sure what I was going to sing today. But last night we had no guests other than Baruch Hashem, Rav Oresh, and Rabdain Elgrad. And we were able to focus on the Rav and the end of the year. And we're going to do a little song of thanks to Hashem. Tov, 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 la hoides la shem, tame la shimcho elion. Tov, 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 la hoides la shem, tame la shimcho elion. Translate. It's good, it's good to give thanks to Hashem. His name is very, very great. Good, good, good to give thanks to Hashem. His name is very gay. Hang him a boy, Kechas Techo. A boy, Kechas Techo. Yemen, Oskaba, Lailois. Yemen, Oskaba. That last part was it's important and I had give a boker to in to give or to say in the morning your kindness. I'm talking about Hashem's kindness, our Creator's kindness. The Amunos Chabalaylus and have a Muna. That's it, the words. Have a Muna in the nights, in the darker times, at the end of the year. The exile, there's fires burning in Jerusalem. It's a time of war right now. And we don't mean a war with any other nation, it's a war within. This is the important point. I mean, I mentioned this on our United Souls course, which once again, you guys are welcome to join. We're doing our next session, interactive section. Sign up below, United Souls, and we're going to discuss this continuation. And one of the points was how you have to look inward rather than outward. You have to look more to the soul level, get to know the soul, 
so that instead of making war with other people, you make war with your inclinations and you become more soulful. Um, we're getting some feedback. Someone from Australia said hello. And also getting some love. Thank you. We can have the same hopefully on YouTube. Someone on YouTube wrote, yes, wartime, and then something else. Well, something about the Taliban and what's going on in there in Af Afghanistan. I don't think, you know, we're to blame. Unfortunately, I think it's very not good strategies by the American gov uh, government right now. You know, not that I'm one to know what's better, but based on what we're seeing, it doesn't look like it's been successful at all. Um, someone's wrote, it's a time of sadness. We're in prayers for our homeland. That's true. There's a lot of fires going on right now. And someone's offering to give charity. So once again, you always have the ability to partner on the uh, link. Amun is our future. There's a link there. And also, if we pigeon a nefesh, I was asked to mention that again. The link is in the description as Amuna is our future link. Amuna Tour 2021. You can partner there. And there's a PayPal easy and very practical way of partnering with what we're doing. I hope that's helpful, Eric. Thank you. Okay, so we want to start off with an energy of thanks and gratitude so that we can wage the war within successfully. Realize that this is an easy achievement because we are naturally inclined to think that we have to fix the people around us. We have to fix the world around us. And we have to, as this person wrote on the YouTube, get involved with politics and other such things. And the truth of reality is, especially in Elul, that the inner battle is much more important, is much more valid. And it will have much more of an impact on the new year to come. On Tafshin Pei base. It will give us the power to transform ourselves through, Hashem will give us the power by us opening ourselves to this higher reality that the Enom Avada, there's nothing else but Hashem. And to realize that through song, as we've been posting recently, music, energy, good vibes, simcha, joy. If you're in a wrestling match, you're not going to do it through sadness and tiredness. You're going to win the war, the battle, through having energy and joy and belief in yourself. To have a muna and betochen in yourself. It's even more important before we start talking about Amunah and his holy concepts of Torah and spirituality, we first have to have that ground rule of Amunah and ourselves, especially if we're going into war with our inclinations, of our own drives and our own lacks. We have to realize that that is part of Hashem's will, that we were created with a good inclination and an evil inclination. People call it the ego. People call it all different things. I wrote a song about the idea of war and it was based on a Pasuk that my soulmate it's a good story, this, that I went to a Rebbe in Ashdod. He's no longer with us, unfortunately, the Pittsburgh Rebbe. We did post a tribute to him uh, not so long ago. And the Pittsburgh Rebbe um, invited me, and his name was Moshe Sofa, as far as I remember. And I was reading a book at that time about the original, the famous with Moshe Sofa, the, the, uh, the holy Chosm uh, Sofa. And I was getting chizuk from, from his light, this Pittsburgh Rebbe, and I was getting inspiration there. And I wanted to discover how I could find my soulmate. My, that was my issue at the time. And at the same time, I was also very interested in Pesukim and names. And his name was Moshe. I had a Pasuk. It's a Pasuk for Mishle. And it says there in the Pasuk of Mishle, that were Machshavas with thoughts. Tikon and eights as an advice for Tachbalos and all different kinds of counsel. Then we have the power to make war, to, be, to make a successful a battle, and to be successful in our journey. One of the things I would recommend also to look at the Psalms of 27 that we're saying every day, the David Hashem Uri. It's filled with advice and counsel and different ways of strategies of how we should conduct war. And that ends up being the Pasuk for Moshe Rabbeinu. There are different, you know, Minhagim of which Pasuk it is, there's another Pasuk, Mashivi, Akeris, Abayas, Eim, Abonim, Smeicha, Halalucha, which is from Halal. I would say, very contrasting, because that shows the more motherly side of Moshe Rabbeinu, of, of Moshe, of the name of Moshe, which happens to end up being the name and the Pasuk of my soulmate, which is Masha, Masha Goldschmidt. So the idea that she has in, within her the name of Moshe, both aspects, the idea of being able to make 
take counsel and conduct war, to have the right strategy, and to realize that there is a war and to be real with that, to accept that we are at war with our inclinations, we're at war with the negative aspects of creation, the dark side, and at the same time we have the power within to, to be nourishing, to be empathetic, to be caring. The, this is the, the powers of good are often coming from the motherly love, the idea of Eim Bon Mismecha Alelucha, this praise of Hashem. So we have the power within when we go to Hallow and we see that Pasuk, of Mashivia Keres Abayas, how the one who comes, Mashivia Keres, and helps the house, the empty house, that once the children return back to this empty house, and the Shechina, and Yushalayim is rebuilt, yeah, the people are returning. It's a beautiful beginning of Hallow, as we begin the praise of Hallow. Now in Rosh Hashanah, there isn't any Hallow. So what do we do? What's our clay Zion for Rosh Hashanah? How are we going to praise Hashem on Rosh Hashanah? So it says in the beautiful Svarim and our Svarim Kadoshim that the hallow is the shofar. So by praising Hashem through the shofar, by hearing the shofar, we're achieving the same effect as the hallow that we say on other Yom Tovim. And the idea of Megillah, when we read the, on Purim, the Megillah, there's a mutual respect, a power in spiritual terms of crowning the king, of Hamelech. This idea of crowning our... our Master, Avinu, our Father, our King, Avinu Malkeinu, to be able to crown the King and to praise Hashem through the Malchus and through the Shofras and Zichronis, as the order more correctly is as Malchus, Zichronis, and Shofras. Yeah, you can correct me, anybody, if I get anything not 100 percent. And please do give feedback; it means a lot to us. I see people are watching. Thank God. And the idea that we're crowning Hashem through the prayer service of Rosh Hashanah that we're building and preparing towards these next few weeks, we're in an opportune time to get ourselves ready from the within. The shofar is an aspect of blowing the breath. Breath is so important. It's, as, as I was with my friend Shmuel Diamond, now Rabbi Shmuel Diamond, we were at his house, the Shabbos, and he said the idea of Nishmas Chaim, that we have a soul that was breathed into us, as a Ruach HaPeinu Mashiach Hashem. Mashiach is going to reveal the, the inner essence of people, the, the soul level, the Neshama, the Neshama Bekirbi, the Taharahi. It's pure. That truth that our soul is pure and it wants to connect to its source. And that's the, the ultimate key to win the war with our evil inclination and our negative sides and all the negative things going on in the world is to tune into that soul level. And the shofar, and this time that we're preparing, blowing the shofar daily, and saying the David Hashem Uri, Psalm 27, and we're connecting into the Yugimilis Arachimim, the 13 levels of mercy, as we spoke about in the previous past few classes. We have the power to bring out the kindness of Hashem, and to bring out the Amuna that's within. That we have a pure Amuna, Moda'ani Lefanecha, as we say every morning, we wake up, no matter what state we're in, we say Moda'ani. We give thanks. Returning the soul. How great is your mercy. Again you return the soul into me. So I have, you believe in me, Hashem. And that gives me the foundation for the day every day as the Yetzirah, the evil inclination, comes and makes you want to stay more in bed and makes you, gives you straight away a pounding headache of thoughts and obligations that you need to do. So you have the opportunity now to really tune in to that aspect of yourself, yes? To tune into that aspect that you have the power within to be soulful, yes? You have the power to be soulful. And it's not something that you're lacking in any level, by any way. So we just have to make sure the sound here, we have to always thank that everything is good over here. Now one of the things that I was just reminded as I'm sitting here, that I really want to build with you Unity Bookings. I want to build with you the opportunity to connect to other inspirational souls that we've brought into our studio and our Muna class with Rav Shalom Oresh. Obviously, most importantly, to Rav Oresh himself, to everything we're doing here 
and you have the opportunity when the Rav Oresh is in Uman, whoever's there, we can try form some classes. You can reach out to me. I've now got asked if people were interested to reach out to me and do some classes, uh, translate the Rav into English potentially. Right now, I'm not in Uman. If anyone wants to partner to make sure I get to Uman, I'm probably going to speak to the you know the the mostas here and hopefully they'll help me get there but in some way or form i'll make my way to uman most likely and if not i have the pleasure to be in yushalayim by my rebbe the ton or i'll be by rebbe nachman either way is good rebbe nachman ben fager rebbe nachman ben simcha you heard from avorish himself how Rav Nachman, Rabbi Nachman is bringing Yeshua's and salvations for everybody. So Rav Oresh is being a shlich, an agent for Rav, Rabbi Nachman, and will be a shlich for Rav Oresh to bring out these Amuna books. You know, we have in the studio, I put up here, the Gardens of Gratitude, the Wonders of Gratitude, we've been talking about it here, and Rav Oresh's beautiful little pamphlet. We've, put, we've already been promoting that, and you can always get connected, and that's connecting into Rav Oresh's light of devotion to people, and praying for people, and the ideas, the wonders of gratitude of the Garden of Amuna series. This is opportune time now, this time of year, to tune into these books and these teachings of Rav Oresh. To go back over all the last 44, 45, even now 46 Amuna classes we've had Rav Oresh in this studio. And one of them we didn't, we had Westside Gravy, and he so beautifully put inside here, into the class, the opportunity to, to connect to unique unity. And someone here is writing on the side, Israel has a right to defend itself and etc etc yes we are allowed to defend ourselves that's the bottom line and we shouldn't have any anti-semitism here or a lack of wisdom or understanding it's true anyone who's honest that there is a, a halakha ace of Sonu Etz Yaakov that there is a tendency in the world for the nations to not to not have love for the Jewish people but our job is to be all a goyim, all the, to be a light unto the nations and to be an example that the nations should love. And not love us, love us as the Jewish people, but to love Hashem, to love each other, to bring uh, humanity to a higher way of living. Humanity to a level of devotion, as Rav Oresh is talking about, to each other, to pray for each other, to care for each other, to want good for the world. And Rav Oresh is saying that's the key to change everything, not war, but through clarity. But the war within is there to fight those inclinations that want to hate, the, those inclinations to be ignorant, those incl inclinations to divide us. This is what we need to do. And as, as our person on the side on YouTube is saying, try reading the Bible and doing some critical thinking, even from a secular level. It's true. Stop being a conspiracy, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, people do need to educate themselves more. You know, we try to keep always in a positive way. That's part of the war we're having online to make sure the content is not controversial, but inspiring. I used a bit of a picture that I wouldn't use on, on YouTube, but probably attracted that kind of energy uh, with the drones attacking each other. It's not really usually my style, but I just wanted to say that that image of war is something that's going on within. Now it's, it's <laughs> become through technology, through AI and drones and VR and all the what's coming. Hopefully Mashiach will be here first. I mean, Hashem himself will say enough of all this. But the point is that the war is within right now. Right now we're going through that war. And we have to realize, oh, there's someone's writing beautiful things. God bless Israel forever and always and bring us success against her evil enemies. I mean, but the key is the real evil is within. That's what we have to realize. It's within each of us. We all have that aspect. Rabbi Nachman says a beautiful idea that everyone has all the nations within. We have all these evil inclinations within us. So the war is on a daily level. The war is on an eternal level. It's an eternal war within. We have to really transform ourselves to become more spiritual. And as I was saying before, when I went to this Rebbe, this Pittsburgh Rebbe, and I mentioned this Pasuk and how his name, he said to me, that is the Pasuk of your soulmate. And I hadn't told him anything about my potential soulmate who I was thinking of going on Shaduchim with soon after. And her name was the same Pasuk that I told the Rebbe of Machshava Eisa Tichuta Asim Ochama. But we need to seek out counsel. We need to read the books of the Siddiquim. And we need to connect to the counsel and advice of the souls. And as I was saying before, with Unity Bookings, the idea of all these special souls we've brought here, like West Side Gravy, he's going to be able to make the Mochama through hip hop and Nissan Black. 
and through speaking so eloquently and Yosef De Niro and all these wonderful guests we've had a long list some of cats, eight and cats, all the people we've thanked Hashem had such wonderful souls have come here and we can book for them as well in other opportunities as well as obviously the Rav and how the opportunity to connect with all these souls we have wonderful singers that have a long list of people that I'm happy to introduce Jodeci who came to the studio is available for speaking all these wonderful people, Monica Ben Avram, there's a long list of wonderful people that have come here. And if I forget any of them, Jonathan Galed is in front of me on the screen from last night's class. Amazing rabbi, amazing people have come here. And we have to thank Hashem for all these gifts and wise counsel through song, through soul, through connection. Anyway, this is a song I wrote as I was looking for my soulmate with this Pasuk in mind. And it ended up being the Pasuk, the, the line from Mishle that my wife's name begins with a mem and ends with a hey. Machshavas b'yetzatit koi u'v'tach b'loz asay milchama machshavas b'yetzat To buy myself the chords. Machshavas b'yetzatikon u'v'tachbalos asay milchama Machshavas b'yetzatikon u'v'tachbalos asay Okay, we've got a time frame. I just got told by the studio. So we're going to end off with a class just with one quick song for Uman. So mind everybody that all the links are below in the description and everyone should just rejoice and get ready for Uman Rosh Hashanah. Simcha, as we were singing last night, we sang the Pashem Tov song. And the success of all the Siddiquim, everyone should be successful in their own personal Muhammad to tune into the light and the advice of the Siddiquim, to be by Uman Rosh Hashanah, to be by Rabbi Nachman, to have Simcha the whole year, to have Israel the whole year, to love devoted to each other. Simcha with joy will win the war. 
It's the ultimate strategy through joy and through happiness and belief and amuna and betochen. All these good eitzes will win the war. This is the strategy. Wishing everyone a beautiful rest of the week and a wonderful Shabbos. Thank you for tuning in to Amuna class. Share it on and we'll see you hopefully next Monday and hopefully in the new year with only blessings. Amen. Thank you. Please share on. Thank you.